Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Ford Focus ST line Vignale. And I know I already reviewed this new Ford Focus 2022 version, but I didn't review the Vignale. And last week I see this Vignale ST line and I was like, oh my God, this is my favorite Ford Focus version. And because of that, I wanna present it to you. I want to show you how is this Vignale and at the end of the video we will make together a conclusion also I'm really excited to hear your thought in the comment down below so comment and tell me what you think about this version but in my opinion this Ford Focus SD line Vignale is my favorite version totally you will see guys we will go through the review interior exterior I will show you the material quality I will show you the space in the trunk I will show you the uh, technical data and I will show you the exterior so first of all before we go forward I want to tell you that I'm right here at Emil Frey in Sukville guys if you want to see the car buy the car or test drive the car check them out I will leave the link in the description and also the website will be down below in the description now let me give you some technical data before we start the review and as I said before we have right here the Ford Focus SD line Vignale this is the version it comes with a classic one liter petrol engine EcoBoost hybrid this is the mild hybrid version from Ford it's an incredible engine I like it really really much check out the test drive I will have a separate video with the same car test drive I already have a few test drive with a new focus on my channel and I noticed that the engine it's crazy silent and also super economical so I totally recommend it anyway very important is the price the starting price of this ST line Vignale it's 38,600 francs but with all these options that you will see it in the video because it comes it's full option you have everything you need on this car it, it added everything and I will also present you as we go in the video you will see that the optionals are 5,800 uh, francs option and you can see right here we have the pack easy parking the car come also with pack styling I will show you in a second bang and all of sense sound system head-up display panoramic roof uh, we have the pixel LED light that everybody asked me about this matrix LED light guys and today I will present you I will show you the way it looks and I tell you I, I was really impressed when I see them they are really really good also we have the metallic color 1000 extra and on the other page here, the car come also with some extra optionals like Ford Pass Connect. Uh, we have the navigation system. We have the winter package here. And I will explain you also what is included in that. And also we have a free year's warranty in this money. And yeah, anyway, the rest of it I will show you as we go in the video. Now guys, also very important, the technical data. Let's go to technical data and then we will start and I will explain you every single feature of the car. Technical data, very important. The weight of the car, 1,532 kilograms, 6.3 liters, the estimated consumption, 143 CO2 grams emission, and the car is in C-class, efficient class. Now, let me go even a little bit deeper with the details and let me tell you, like, as I said before, the one liter EcoBoost uh, petrol engine have three cylinders in line the power of the car 155 horsepower 190 newton meters it's a front wheel drive system and it comes with a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission the range of the car vltp i was impressed when i see that around 1000 kilometers so that means with a full tank of 52 liters the fuel tank has 52 liters you can do around 1000 kilometers this is quite impressive the top speed of the car 208 km per hour 0 to 108.4 seconds the ground clearance of the car 12.3 centimeters also the car come with ventilated brake disc on the front and normal brake disc on the rear it comes also with 18 inch rims that fit perfect with the car and i like them very much i will definitely get the 18 as well also the turning radius of the car 11 meters the boot capacity 392 liters and if you fall down the seats completely you will have 1354 liters the front suspension independent mcpherson coil spring with anti-roll bar the rear suspension we have multi-link coil spring with and roll bar and those are the most important information about the car the technical data 
let's start the review guys and then in the end we will make the conclusion all right guys here we are with the key this is the key very light very small like like a finger and i like that you can put it in your pocket without any problem so from this point of view it's great what you can do with the key you can lock the car of course you can unlock the car also from here you can unlock the trunk because it doesn't come with an uh, automatic lift gate in the trunk all you can do is just unlock it also the car of course come with keyless entrance uh, if you want to unlock the car just put your hand here and you can see it's unlocked very easy if you want to lock the car you can see it has uh, here some lines so you can put your finger uh, uh, easy here and the car will lock also as you see before the car come with electric folding mirrors as standard another cool thing that i like about the car and something really impressive that i want to show you right now before we go forward is that when you open the doors let me unlock it when you open the doors you can see that the doors come with this protection for the door something that you don't find in other cars this is a super super extra at least when you have kids or when you have passengers uh, in your car and they open the door and uh, this uh, rubber here plastic rubber protect uh, your door to not hit other cars protect even other cars and even your uh, door so this is this is awesome and you can see it goes inside automatic and uh, you can see that you have it also on the back doors so how cool is that this is a great feature uh, that i like very very much anyway let me start the engine let me turn on the light and we will talk a little bit about the exterior design all right guys so now let's talk a little bit about the exterior design i want to go on the side so i can show you a little bit uh, better the way it looks the car so when i see it first time from the exterior this great color gray color with those rims i think they fit just phenomenal i like very very much the design of this st line vignale i like very much the spoiler the roof spoiler it's beautiful we will go close there to look also i like the bumper in the back um, I like very much the lines, the shape of the car. I think it's super aggressive. Even the exhaust pipe, if you look down there, um, it's crazy, crazy sporty. I like it very much. The more I see it, the more it grows in my in my head, in my in my heart. And I have to say that I kind of become a fan of this new Ford Focus. I don't know why. I don't know why. It looks really, really attractive. It looks really sexy and this metallic gray color it looks splendid uh, it's 1000 francs extra but i think it's totally deserved uh, to pay for it and also uh, it's great that you don't have to wash it all the time this color um, and yeah it's nice even when you scratch it it will not see so so uh, hard like on other colors anyway the exterior design quite quite beautiful let me go a little bit closer to the car let me talk a little bit about things here on the roof we have glass roof all over we will see also when we go inside the radio antenna it's small in black nice there like a shark tail the roof spoiler it's my favorite part uh, i like how they extend it here the glossy plastic but i like very much those lines look at the lines look at the shape here in this area it's beautiful it's really really beautiful the way it looks is just fantastic here we have the brake light led light tinted windows defrosted windows wiper you already know that from my other review probably here we have tinted windows as well uh, the tank it's here on the driver's side and also we have the easy fuel you don't have to open any cap you just put it in and push it uh, this is great the easy fuel thing it's it's one of my favorite thing not all the car have it uh, so that's why probably I like it uh, very much. Now let me finish with this area here. In the front we have camera, we have sensors for raining and light and the camera for reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist and all that safety features. I don't know if you see from this angle some light reflectors reflection on the windscreen this is because this windscreen it's heated so in the winter you press a button and you defrost all this window in one two minutes so this is another great feature that the car come with here we have the mirror in the same color as the car led light here also we have an led light that illuminate the ground in the nighttime very useful around the windows nothing uh, special is just a rubber on the upper side the same thing between the windows here some glossy plastic but i like very much the shape of the door i explained that in the other review i like the shape of the door because this window help you 
have a great visibility from the interior uh, and also you have a bigger entrance in the car but about that a little bit later in terms of sound when you close the door the sound is quite good uh, so the quality is good here as well let me go in the back here uh, down here we have the focus writing uh, we have also a reverse camera LED lights on the number plate on the both sides here we have LED light also on the rear uh, the only thing that is not LED light and I don't understand why is the blinkers the blinkers are normal halogen light I wish they were also LED but uh, overall the shape and the design of the light on the back it's nice this is one thing that I will definitely change on the car I will definitely make it full LED light and probably a little bit improve it but the shape it's, it's really really nice and it fits quite nice with the car eco boost hybrid so you know this is the mild hybrid version it has that 48 volt battery and a small electric motor that help that uh, petrol engine the bumper it's phenomenal I think you can see it from this angle uh, it looks really nice the lines the shape the aggressiveness of the bumper is beautiful six parking sensors on the rear very useful some light reflector down here very very nice integration very nice design even down here the air kind of an air diffuser uh, look nice and here on the other side we have two exhaust pipes that sound quite nice lovely lovely design I really like it I have to say I I kind of like the car very much the back here on the side on the both side we have the ST line so you know uh, what version it is when you go in the front also you can see this metallic gray color uh, reflection uh, of the Sun it's quite nice you can see those sharp edges sharp lines aggressive lines beautiful hood beautiful front end of the car and in this version you can get this new grill the grill look uh, crazy look quite nice and it fits super super good with the car also you have the Ford logo you have some glossy plastic some air intakes and you can see right now there are some uh, clappers that are closed right now and sometimes they open to cool down the engine down here you have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features again the same story on the down part some clappers that are closed right now they will open and they will leave the air to go there to cool down the, the different parts I like very much also the front bumper if you look at the front bumper you can see that it has some chrome design here some glossy plastic six parking sensors also in the front very useful and you have some air intake in the, on the down part here I like that also very nice design here on the down part of the of the bumper I think you can see from this angle a little bit better it looks good it looks really really good that's why I tell you this is the most beautiful version I like everything uh, that they did on the exterior design I'm really curious to see this car on other color those are the Ford LED lights the Matrix LED lights the newest this one and we have the turning signals on the higher part and on the down part I don't know if you can see it I zoom in a little bit but they look really fancy they are they are quite you can see that it's something different you can see that it's something premium even if you look at the high beam you can see the matrix lights they have thousands of little LED lights uh, here and here uh, that help the lights in the nighttime and it's, it's gorgeous it's too much light outside to show you right now but um, I'm sure in the nighttime they will illuminate really good and I will try to test it I promise you that I will test it in the future for you but it looks really good and and I think in the nighttime they are they are gorgeous the tires 18 inch rims beautiful rims I mean I like very much those combination of gray with with chrome you have red brake caliper and you have ventilated brake this on the front they look quite nice down here by the way on the skirt we have some plastic this skirt it's added extra and it give a little bit of extra sportiness to the car and on the rear guys the same 18 inch tires red brake caliper normal brake disc now let's go in the trunk manual lift gate in the trunk as I said before very easy to open it up you have some handles up here the entrance it's big big enough uh, for the size of the car you have also this protection here for the things that you want to put it in the trunk then you have some plastic at the entrance you have like I think 20 maybe 15 20 centimeters here deepness hooks in every corner I love that you have a light a normal light no LEDs the normal bulb light also here 
you have some uh, first aid medical kit and some extra that comes from Emil Frey to the car uh, in the same time I want to put it down for a while so in order to show you the rest of the car let me put it here for a second now down here under the floor you have some repair kit and if I'm not wrong here is the Bang & Olufsen speakers and sound system exactly so you can see it right there so not so much space under the floor here but uh, the thing that it's quite deep it's very useful so you can put in here a lot of things now let me take this out and let me fold down the seats to show you how much space you have in the trunk there all right guys i just take out that protection so you can see one more time the way it looks without it so now it looks even bigger so yeah in terms of entrance in the trunk it's it's super super big super useful also you can see one more time the trunk from this angle so you can make another idea the good thing is that you can fold down this middle part right here and you can carry long items like skis in the same time and you have the two passengers and carry long times uh, long items at the same time this is a good thing then if you want to fold down the seats all you have to do is just press this button and push it forward like that now on this area the same story but let me go on the side because first time you have to put it back so i have to put this back and then put the armrest and then fold it down good just like that let me put also the seat belt on the side and let me go in the back so you can make an idea the way it looks this is the way it looks with the seats folding down plenty plenty of space the only downside is that you don't have a flat floor so if you wanna if you need a flat floor um, you cannot find it in this uh, version so uh, you have also here around 10 centimeters I think uh, deepness but other than that it's it's more than enough space I mean it's super spacious to put a lot of things here without any problem going on the side the fact that you have the windows on the door you will see that you have a lot of space so the entrance in the car it's relatively big also uh, it comes with this beautiful glass roof that I will show you a little bit later and you can see one more time the space and the way it looks uh, in the trunk from this angle so yeah not bad uh, so the only down down part I should say is the fact that you don't have a flat floor but other than that it's quite good and also you have a lot of space on the legs room here so if you look at the legs room more than enough space so you don't have to worry about uh, the legs room so this is it guys now let me put everything back and we will go inside kind of the windows in the back here are split in two parts we have one fixed window and one windows here that can be folded all the way down in terms of door quality and design uh, it's quite nice the design looks great uh, the quality on the upper side here we have plastic uh, the handle feels really good quality we have a small speaker here in this area also plastic so everywhere here it's plastic even though you have this design but here where your arm are resting we have leather and you can see the the white stitches so it's quite good quality handle you have the button for the windows and then here we have a speaker and uh, quite a lot of storage space for a back door I should say and also you have uh, a little bit of stuff material here like in a Volkswagen group car so this is another good thing now the entrance as I said before more than big entrance to get inside here also you can make an idea about the entrance and the way it looks here in the back talking about the seats another thing another favorite thing uh, when I see it first time I was like wow I have to show that to the world I have to show that to the people that want to buy a Ford Focus because I think those are the most beautiful high quality and fancy seats that you can get on a Ford Focus uh, in 2022 and if I go a little bit closer you can see also the stitches you can see the quality is great the headdress you can see down here the red stitches you can see the little holes and the design look just fabulous uh, guys so I definitely definitely uh, recommend you to get those seats I love the way they look and you will see that they are super comfortable as well you have also isofix in the back here uh, in the middle here you have an armrest with two cup holders let me put it back and look at the design look at the seats 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful seats. Now, on the other side here, behind the front seat, you have also the same kind of a leather over uh, a rubber, a rubber behind the leather, a very good quality. As you touch it, some storage space here, great. I like another thing is the fact that the transmission tunnel, it's so small. This is incredible for, uh, for an IC car. It's, it's just crazy. And look at those seats, how tiny they are. How good quality. Great job, Ford. I love those seats, really. Get inside here. Let me go inside. I go so easy inside. And it's so hot inside here. But I want to show you the space, the legs room. It's, it's huge. I mean, for a hatchback in this class, look at the, look at the legs room. Man, I mean, it's, it's big enough for me. Look it in the front. I, I, this, this seat in my driving position, and this one I think is in the same position. And look how much space I have here in the back. It's more than enough. I can stretch my legs under the front seat a little bit there. And I have a lot of, lot of space. Very good comfort here. The headroom, uh, like four and a little bit fingers. More than enough for me. I'm 173 centimeters, by the way. Here you have a handle, a hook, and then here you have also an LED light. The visibility outside, it's perfect, perfect visibility because they extend this window like that. When, uh, whatever you see this shape of the window in the back, also BMW 1 Series have the same, you will know that you have great visibility outside, so it's perfect. Um, I like it, I like it very much. And also the comfort on those seats is just oh, lovely. I like it. Going in the middle, you can see right here, you have plenty of space. Uh, to stay in the middle here. Also plenty of space on the legs room. I like that. Look how easy I play with the legs. I feel like I'm in an SUV. This is incredible, incredible, useful. I can stay with my legs together and I still have plenty of space there. That's crazy. I mean, look at this guys. In what hatchback you can do that? Look at the space. Crazy, crazy, crazy. A lot of space here. Now on the headroom, it's a little bit less, like three fingers, but on the legs room, a lot of space. Stretch my hand, almost complete. And here, almost complete, but you can have three people here without any problem, even for short to medium trips, without any problem. The, the, the quality here and the, wow, I love those seats, man. I don't know how they make it. Look how, how smooth they are. It's, here it's a little bit stronger, but here they make it smoother. It's like Ford, uh, watch my videos when I complain about the middle part seats here and they change that. Oh my god, it's so soft. Here in the middle it's softer than on the side. And oh boy, if you stay here, if you look at this glass roof, but not now when it's super hot, it's beautiful, really beautiful. And oh, of course this window, it's super hot. In the summertime, it's crazy hot, but you can close it. I will show you later when we go in the front. You can close this, you can make dark inside here. So it will be much, much, much better. But with this glass, of course, if you get it as an optional, it's beautiful, it's incredible, you can open it up, but it makes also hot in the summer. Anyway, perfect. In the back here, the seats are just gorgeous. Of course, you can get optional, this shirt holder that you can put it here. Uh, on the back of your headrest. They look fancy, they look nice. Now we will go in the front guys, we will talk about the front design of the dashboard, the multimedia system and all the things there. Also I have another video with it, so if you want to see the multimedia system I have a separate video where I show you every single feature. Anyway, let me go in the front, let me go there to talk about the things guys. In the front kind of the same story when we talk about the door design. Here we have a big window from one piece. That's great because you have a good visibility in the mirror. You can see the mirrors come with blind spot technology in the corner there. So you can see it from here. Uh, also the difference here, it makes the material quality from the back door. For example, the front door, we have soft leather everywhere in this area. So everywhere here, you have soft leather, soft leather here, 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 soft leather. And here, of course, with the white stitches as on the back. So everywhere on the upper side of the door, it's super high quality material. Here we have kind of, kind of a carbon fiber, uh, glossy effect, look beautiful handle the buttons for the windows, uh, folding mirrors, adjustable electric mirrors, 
handle. Here we have the Bang & Olufsen speaker, some storage space here in the door bands, uh, SD line on the uh, plate down here at the entrance. And we have aluminum pedals, beautiful pedals. I like very much the pedals. Uh, those aluminum pedals from Ford look gorgeous. Now guys, keep in mind that this model come with electric adjustable seats in the front for the driver and for the passenger we have manual adjustable seat. That's something to keep in mind. Big entrance here in the front and you can see also from this angle, one more time, the glass roof. You can see the seats, you can see the way it looks uh, beautiful. I love those seats. Let me go on the side so you can see it better. The seats are incredible, incredible nice. Uh, we have leather seats and the, the, the design and the quality, it's, it's crazy. I like those uh, red stitches, the side support, the way they feel and the way they look is just totally recommend you. I will definitely go with those seats if I would buy a Ford uh, Focus these days. Now going forward, here are the lights controllers. So you can turn on the lights, turn on the fog lamps, uh, the brightness of the screen is here. So you can adjust it from here. Uh, going up a little bit here, we have uh, leather again on the dashboard from here up. We have also those stitches, uh, very good quality uh, when you touch also those vents. And yeah, let me go inside. It's, it's mega hot outside, oh my God. The seats, it's so hot. I have to turn on the AC immediately because it's it's crazy hot outside. I can't, I can't stand anymore and I think my camera will not stand so much hot. Um, yeah, anyway, let me go forward. Now, by the way, guys, around the windows, you have perfect visibility. You can see visibility is great. Uh, it's make too much noise. Let me put it on four, maybe three. No, just like that, free. Okay, visibility, guys, let me show you one more time. Visibility, it's very good around the windows. Really good, nothing to complain. Uh, this is heated, we have heated seats. So as I said before, you press one button. Where is the button here? Front, when you say front, you press one button and you defrost in the winter, uh, the windscreen. Uh, now, let me show you around the car. It's perfect. The visibility, it's, it's just perfect. You don't have to complain about anything. No blind spot in the corner or stuff like that. One more time, you can check out the seats in the back. Now here we have an armrest, the same leather armrest. Open this up. You have some uh, place here where you can put your things or you can take it out and then you have even much space there uh, to put your different uh, items. Here we have the key, a place for the key, electronic handbrake, of course, auto hold. Here we have another space where you can adjust uh, those kind of cup holders. They have an LED light here in the nighttime, look quite nice. And then going forward, here we have leather in this area, very good quality uh, again. This is the stick to change the gears, so automatic. Uh, gearbox as I said before it's very simple all you have to do is just press a button go in reverse once you are in reverse you can see the reverse camera on this big big huge screen and you have two possibility to see it wide or to see it just like that normal with those active lines when you want to park the car and also you have parking sensors of course then you have uh, driving mode and then you have the M, M mean you can change the gears manually. You have some pedals here behind the steering wheel so you can have some fun with the car uh, in manual mode. Let me actually, let me change the position of the car because the sun come on the dash and I just want to change it. You can see also the sensors here and then let me go back and drive and then put it like that. Okay, and then back in reverse. Let me turn it around. It's very easy to, to, to play with the car and also uh, I like very much the fact that uh, the camera, it's so real. I mean, you can see it's, it's so realistic. I cannot explain you in some cars. Uh, it looks a little bit fakery and you cannot see, you cannot understand where are the, the obstacle in the back there. But in this one, uh, it's really, really good electronic handbrake of course uh, good let me go forward guys down here behind the stalk you have a place where you can charge your phone wireless and it's a big place there then you have USB 2 USB C and a 12 volt port so very useful uh, place here to put your items 
Um, you have start stop engine button here, then you have the parking button like navigate to parking or active park assist so the car can help you park the car if you want to like uh, horizontal vertical and you can take out you can get out from the parking lot so this is also useful maximum and this button here it's for different driving modes so you can go directly we have three different driving modes normal eco mode and sport mode so you can see here you can change it from here and of course every time you change these driving modes even the cockpit will change i will show you in a second but let me leave it on echo for for a moment a little bit higher we have the vents also as i said before the quality is good it's it's quite quite good anyway on the higher here we have the same kind of carbon fiber glossy plastic effect up here we have soft material all over the dashboard you have soft material you have this uh, beautiful stitches beautiful stitches here soft material here we have the glow box on the glow box relatively big yeah other than that um, it looks nice it looks modern it looks clean uh, bang all of sand speaker in the front there and here we have the head of display something that i will definitely not get it as an optional because I don't know it's on this plastic if it was directly on the windscreen was okay but I don't think you need it it's okay it's fine it gives you some information there but I don't know if it's necessary because you have all the information here on the uh, cockpit you see everything you need to see on the on the digital cockpit and it's also nice and yeah I think it's more than enough anyway on the upper side you have a mirror a beautiful big mirror where you can see perfect in the back there so nothing to complain about uh, up here you have also some led lights and not only that but you have also those buttons for the uh, roof the glass roof i will show you in a second and you have a space where you can put your glasses something that is very useful in my opinion uh, the quality on the roof it's fine it's relatively good uh, also up here you have a mirror with two lights not leds just normal halogen light but they are useful handle here and let me show you now if you want to open this up you can open the roof super simple from here from this button you press it you open it up like that this is the maximum position that you can open it up it's quite okay then you can close it electrically and the great part is that if you don't need so much sun inside the car you can close it also electrically from here you can put this curtain on and you make quite dark inside the car so you can see the dashboard even better and we will do it like that because it will protect you from the sun um, and I love it now it's it's a little bit better now the steering wheel you can adjust it manually from down here uh, forward backward let me show you I think or come on backward and forward it was yeah down up backward forward okay but it's hard to do with one hand I just want to show you good uh, the steering wheel quality it's perfect nothing to say about steering wheel great grip quite soft and nice it feels like it's it's, it's proper leather proper good quality I like that it's a little bit thicker and this is great also uh, the pedals behind the steering wheel you already see it here we have some stalks uh, for lane assist you can press this to activate the lane assist and other than that you have physical button here to control different cruise control uh, functions and also the voice command uh, and lane assist here on the other side you have some controllers for the screen I will show you in a second you can change different things there and you have also this uh, media and voice command button physical buttons uh, good going to the cockpit guys if you look at the cockpit you can see that you can kind of it's not super customizable but you have all the information that you need there uh, the hybrid gauges the tire pressure the fuel economy the trip uh, consumption also uh, you can change and uh, different options audio phone head-up display you can activate deactivate from here uh, different things also every time you change the different driving modes uh, you will see that it's changed also the, the screen design and the screen color I should say if you go to echo if you go to normal if you go to sport mode the sport mode it will show you this gray with red so it looks really interesting anyway this is it guys I have a separate video with this multimedia system and cockpit if you want to see more details check it out and also how to connect Android so it's already on my on my channel check it out 
The screen, this is the new screen. It's a huge screen, I tell you. It's really, really big and useful and much more responsive in comparison with what Ford uh, uses to years ago. This is much, much better. Even the navigation system, I mean, it's, it's super responsive. You can go through details, super simple. You can look at this, look, look how simple it is. Look, look how smooth it is. I like that very much. And also, if you go to a destination, just press go and it's loading in no time. It's Please just drive boom. to highlight a route. Look at this, it's, it's crazy fast. And you have this 3D map, 2D map, wherever, however you want to use it you can have it here and it's super super useful you have also the charging place or the tank uh, place where you can uh, fuel your car if you go to home here you have the add phone audio you have the settings here all the settings of the vehicle are here much more responsive everything it's it's much much better you go to vehicle here you have all that settings uh, of the car right here the wipers the lights the mirrors uh, you have also the general settings where you can change the language, temperature units, uh, tire pressure and uh, software update. You can reset it also. Clock, add phone, uh, bang and off and sound system. You have the vehicle hotspot, mobile apps. And yeah, there are, there are so many things here. You can see you can connect your Android phone. Uh, you go to features here and you have the owner manual. You don't have to have your book with you. <laughs> Uh, from now on you have the manual here you have the driver assistance system the most important safety uh, features of the car cruise control speed limit lane assist pre collision assist traffic sign recognition rear view camera blind spot information wrong way alert and so on so many uh, great features and the last one it's mobile app where you can connect android or apple phone i already made a video about that so you can check out on my channel uh, if you want to find out more information about that so guys i guess that was the video uh with this new ford focus st line vignale i hope you enjoy it i hope you get some useful information my rating for this ford focus st line vignale uh from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9. i like very much the design i like very very much the seat the interior it's just crazy it's super practical the car you have a great mirror up here very good visibility around the windows a lot of great features safety features and comfort features and those are very important and for 42,000 francs the price that it cost I think you get a lot a lot for for this car and the engine is also good very economical and quite silent now guys that was the video I really want to hear your thought what do you think about the car write me down below uh, don't forget to like share subscribe that will mean a lot for me thank you very much for watching my videos i really appreciate that guys so thank you very much again also if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out emil frey in Zugville. i will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car or see the car uh, that was the video i hope it was useful stay safe and don't miss out the test drive with the same car bye guys